Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping well. So, my name is Priyanka Singh and I am your science teacher. Today, I am here to start with the 8th class science chapter 6. And the name of this chapter is Coal and Petroleum. So, let's start this topic. Scientists believe that the earth was formed about 4500 million years ago and life originated about 3500 million years ago. It is believed that life originated in the form of unicellular organisms. Over millions of years, complex and multicellular forms of life evolved from these simpler forms of life. Men is the end product in this journey of evolution. Man is dependent for his daily needs and comforts on nature. Nature has provided us a variety of plants, animals, minerals and fuels along with water, air, soil to sustain life. All such materials which are used by man for his survival and welfare are called resources. Some of these resources are found in nature and are called natural resources while some have been made by man and are called man-made resources. Natural resources may be renewable or non-renewable. Renewable resources are those that can be replaced in nature almost at the rate closer to their rate of use. Some natural resources are forest, sunlight, air and water. Non-renewable resources are those which cannot be replenished. Some non-renewable resources are coal, petroleum and natural gas. Natural resources include everything of natural origin living and non-living things. Natural resources are the resources that occur in the nature. Most of our energy needs are met by natural resources like wood, coal and petroleum. Natural resources can be broadly divided into inexhaustible natural resources. These resources are present in unlimited quantity in nature. They are replenishable and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities, for example, sunlight, air, water, etc. Exhaustible natural resources. These resources are limited in nature and cannot be replenished. These are exhausted by human activities, for example, forest, wildlife, coal, petroleum, natural gas and minerals. Let us understand the importance of resources. Now, fossil fuels. Fossils are the dead remain of plants and animals which were buried deep inside the earth millions of years ago. Fossil fuels are the fuels that are obtained from fossils. The fossil fuels are coal, petroleum and natural gas. They are non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources are natural resources that cannot be remade or reformed or are used up faster than they can be replaced in nature. Occurrence of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels were formed from prehistoric plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. The ancient plants and animals lived in swamps and oceans. When these living things died in the soil, millions of years passed and the dead plants and animals slowly decomposed into fossil fuels. Let us try to learn more about them. Coal Coal is a solid fuel. It is black in color. Earlier, it was used for heating water to produce steams to run railway engines. Coal is also used in thermal power plants for producing electricity. It is primarily composed of carbon, the percentage of which varies in different types of coal. Now, formation of coal. Coal was formed from the burning of dense forest in low-lying wetland areas due to natural processes like flooding. As more soil was deposited over them, they were compressed. Pressure and high temperature converge these layers together to form a layer of soft material called pit. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetables into coal is called carbonization. 
as coal is formed from the remains of cellulosic vegetable remain it is also called a fossil fuel now types of coal coal is mainly composed of carbon but it also contain hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and sulfur coal is classified on the basis of presence of carbon in it and the amount of heat energy they produce they are classified into peat peat is a spongy type of organic matter and contains lot of fiber it is the topmost layer in the formation of coal and is the earliest stage in coal formation peat contains 27% carbon and the second is lignite lignite is the young stage in coal formation it has 28 to 30% carbon it has lot of fibrous matter and moisture its calorific value is 14.7 to 19.9 kJ per gram hence its value as fuel is low it is also known as brown coal now the next one is bituminous it is the most commonly used variety of coal it is shiny black in color and has low moisture content its carbon content is 75 to 80% and its calorific value is 28 to 31 kJ per gram. Anthracite. It is the best form of coal. It has less moisture content and is also known as smokeless coal. Its carbon content is 90 to 95% and its calorific value is 31 to 35 kJ per gram. Pit, dead plant material, lignite, brown coal, bituminous coal, household soft coal, anthracite, hard coal, destructive distillation of coal. On strong heating coal, in a closed tube, it breaks down to different components such as coal gas, coal tar, ammonical liquor and coke. This process is called destructive distillation. The various products obtained during destructive distillation of coal are coal gas. It is a mixture of hydrogen 50%, methane 35% and carbon monoxide 8% gases. It is considered as good fuel due to high calorific value. Coal gas is used as cooking gas for lighting purposes and in chemical and metallurgical processes to create reducing atmosphere because it contains hydrogen. Ammonical liquor. It is a solution of ammonia in water. When it reacts with sulfuric acid, it forms ammonium sulfate, which is used as a fertilizer. Coke. Coke is a solid material containing carbon mainly. It is a very good fuel with a high calorific value than coal. Coal with less ash and sulfur content is quite highly prized in the market as it burns without smoke. Coke is used as an excellent reducing agent in industries. Coke is also used to prepare industrially important gases like water gas, which is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and a producer gas, which is a mixture of carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and nitrogen, wood gas, etc. Coke is a good starting material for the preparation of acetylene, acetic acids and plastic like polyvinyl chloride coal tar it is viscous brown or black liquid it is a residue left behind after destructive distillation of coal it smell like naphthalene it is a mixture of 200 organic compounds these compounds can be separated by fractional distillation compounds obtained from coal tar are benzene toluene phenol, naphthalene, and anthracene, etc. It is used to make medicines, dyes, paints, explosives, plastics, synthetic fibers, perfumes, preservatives, insecticides, etc. It is also the key source of a group of chemicals used in antiseptics, medicated shampoos, soaps, and ointments. An extra mile. Nowadays, Bitumen, a petroleum product, is used in place of coal tar for metalling the roads. Uses of coal. Various uses of coal are 
coal is used as a fuel because it burns easily and has a high calorific value coal is used to make fuels such as coal gas synthetic petrol methane and coke chemical energy stored in coal is used to heat water to produce steam that turns the turbine whose rotation generates electricity coal is used to manufacture industrial useful organic compounds such as benzene naphthalene etc petroleum petrol is used as a fuel in light automobiles such as a motorcycles scooters and car heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors use diesel as a fuel petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum Petroleum is a complex mixture of many compounds of hydrogen and carbon known as hydrocarbons. It also contains small amount of other compounds of carbon containing oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. Petroleum is extremely important for the economy of a nation as it is a versatile source of energy. It is often called black gold. Formation of petroleum The formation of petroleum was done by the organisms living in the sea. When these organisms die, their bodies settle at the seabed. Over a period of time, the sand and clay accumulated over the layers of the plants and animal remains. These were subjected to light, high pressure and heat. Gradually, they were converted into layers of sedimentary rocks. plant and animal remains within the sedimentary rock were eventually transformed into petroleum and natural gas in the following figure layer having petroleum oil and gas is above that of water because oil and gas are lighter than water this is the diagram of petroleum and gas deposits the word petroleum was derived from the greek word petra meaning rock and oleum meaning oil that is oil from the rocks extraction of petroleum petroleum is obtained by drilling petroleum wells by heavy and sharp cutting tools drilling may even reach a depth of 10000 feet this crude oil is then transported to the refinery through pipelines refining of petroleum petroleum extracted from its well is a thick black liquid also known as crude oil it cannot be used as a fuel in its natural form therefore it is refined to obtain a number of useful components the refining of petroleum is done by its fractional distillation or petroleum refining refining of petroleum may be defined as the process of separating different useful fraction from petroleum with the simultaneous removal of the undesirable impurities by the process of fractional distillation the process of refining of petroleum or fractional distillation is based on the fact that different fractions of the crude oil boil within different temperature ranges it is carried out in a refinery the crude oil is sent to a distillation tower made of steel and heated up to a temperature of 400 degrees celsius some of the oil vaporizes and rises up to the tower different components of the oil boil at different temperatures the tower contains a series of shallow trays that collect the liquid as a vapor condense to the top of the tower thus the components are separated from the bottom to the top of tower as heavy to light fractions this allows the refineries to collect the different fractions of the crude oil the various fractions obtained by the fractional distillation of petroleum oil from top to bottom of the tar are petroleum gas petrol kerosene oil diesel oil fuel oil and residual oil further fractionation of residual oil yields lubricating oil paraffin wax asphalt and petroleum coke the process of separating the various constituent fractions of petroleum is known as refining It is carried out in a petroleum refinery. Petrochemicals are the organic compounds obtained from various petroleum fractions and natural gas. These compounds are also useful in the preparation of plastics, fibers of dyes, medicines, 
pesticides, detergents and other such compounds. So now children, this is the table showing some fossil fuels and their uses. So this table is divided into two categories. The first one is constituate and the other one is uses. So let's start. Petroleum gas and liquid. Domestic fuel used to make LPG and carbon for types and hydrogen gas. The next one is petrol. Fuel of light vehicle solvent for dry cleaning. Kerosene oil. Fuel for stoves, lamps and for jet aircraft. Diesel oil. Fuel for heavy motor vehicles and electric generators. Lubricating oil. Lubricant for machinery. Paraffin wax. Candles, cosmetics, Vaseline. Bitumen for making road surfaces, paints, etc. Fossil fuels are limited. Fossil fuels account for 90% of the energy being used today. Burning of fossil fuels like coal and petroleum leads to major environmental problems such as air pollution, acid rain and global warming. So, it is estimated that petroleum and natural gas are likely to get exhausted in the near future. So, we must use fossil fuels very judiciously. Scientists are now trying to make use of alternative sources of energy like solar energy, tidal energy, wind energy, etc. Scientists are also trying to make use of hydrogen gas as fuel because it is much cleaner fuel than coal or petroleum. We should try to save fossil fuels. We can do this by following some simple ways like walking down to the nearby markets instead of going by a car or a scooter. Switching off the engine at traffic lights. Using carpool is a good way to reduce consumption of fossil fuels. Natural gas. Natural gas is found with petroleum in oil wells. There are however some oil wells which yields only natural gas. It generates a large amount of heat by burning a unit quantity. Before natural gas can be used as a fuel, it must undergo extensive processing to remove all materials other than methane. Natural gas consisting only of methane is called dry natural gas. Traditionally, it is used to be supplied through cylinders to the users. But nowadays, it has become possible to transport it to distance places through pipelines. It is stored under high pressure and is compressed to obtain compressed natural gas, that is CNG. It causes no pollution and has high calorific value. It is an environmentally cleaner alternative to other automobile fuels such as petrol and diesel. Natural gas has been in use as a fuel in industries and power generation. It is also used in the manufacture of fertilizer as it is a source of hydrogen. Now CNG is used as a fuel for transporting vehicles also. It is also used to manufacture fabrics, glasses, steel, plastics, paints, etc. Natural Resources Limitation It takes millions of years to form fossil fuels. They are called non-renewable resources because they are formed with extremely slow rate in the Earth's crust. Presently, the rate at which these non-renewable resources of energy are being consumed is higher than the rate at which they are formed. It is expected that their stock are likely to be exhausted by the middle of the 21st century and hence depletion of non-renewable resources of energy is known as energy crisis. Conservation of fossil fuels. Keeping in mind the limitation of fossil fuels, the need is to be conserved natural resources. A few suggestions for the conservation of energy are Use only renewable energy resources. In gas stove, use high efficiency oils which burn a blue flame. Complete combustion produces more heat and not with a yellow flame. Incomplete combustion produces less heat. Switch off lights and fan when not in use. Use room heaters, coolers and air conditioners only when necessary. 
use vessels with a flat bottom for heating and not the vessels with a round bottom. Use solar cookers and solar heaters whenever possible. Cover the vessel while cooking vegetables, dal, meat, etc. To prevent heat loss and use casseroles for keeping the eatables hot instead for heating them again and again. Use compact fluorescent lamps that is CFLs, bulbs and tube lights which consumes less energy instead of incandescent lamps. Drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. Switch off the engine at traffic lights or at a place when you are waiting. Ensure correct pressure in the tires. Maintenance of vehicles should be ensured regularly. Now greenhouse gas. The gas which behaves like the glass of a greenhouse is called a greenhouse gas. This gas absorbs the sun rays of longer wavelengths reflected by the earth and radiates them back to the earth's surface thereby increasing the earth's temperature. Carbon dioxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbons and water vapors are greenhouse gases. Disease due to coal mining. Pneumoconiosis, also called black lung disease is a chronic lung disease found in coal miners. Coal mining is a dangerous activity and sometimes it can be disastrous. Coal mining leads to adverse effects on the environment which result in destroying soil profile, wildlife habitat and topography that is physical feature of land of the mined area. So it's time for activity. And the aim of this activity is to find out about different types of mining techniques used to extract coal for mines. Make a report and share your information with the class. So it's time for Reader's Digest children. Natural resources can be classified as exhaustible and non-exhaustible. Wood has been a source of energy since ancient times and is used in construction for making furniture and paper. Fossil fuels were formed from the dead remains of living organisms millions of years ago. Coal formation from vegetative matter is called carbonization. Natural gas is also a fossil fuel having a wide range of uses. So students, it's time to take your leave. Bye. We'll meet in the next class.